Hi, Andrew here, and I find myself in a bit of a mood. There's been movement in the mid-game that we're in today. News about uh, border crossings. Uh, another uh, liberal parliamentarian has joined Joel Lightfoot in coming out against Blackface's policies. Uh, a supercut of international uh, news readers ridiculing blackface but while I might go on a an amusing rant about that I can't because CTV news one of the bought and paid for whores of the Canadian press spewing Trudeau's propaganda scrounged up some experts to come out and say there are people who might have anxiety issues with reopening really Anxiety mm. issues about reopening. Where were these fucking experts for the last two years with the explosion in childhood depression, teenage suicide, drug abuse, addiction, overdose? Where were these, these experts about the anxieties of these insane COVID lockdowns, which Johns Hopkins University has determined made a 0.2% difference. Oh, you're anxious about reopening, are you? If only there was a way you could avoid partaking in the reopening. If only there were services that would deliver your groceries to your front door, or your cooked restaurant meals to your front door, or if only there was a an amazing internet market company, I don't know, something like, we could call it Amazon.com, that would deliver you anything you need to your front goddamn door. You don't have to go out. Two years ago, pardon me, one year ago this Saturday, I stood 10 feet across this room right over there. And three amazing wonderful little boys and a wonderful beautiful sweet lady came within a hair's breadth of being a widow and being those little boys being fatherless i hit a despair that i've never hit before and i barely clawed out of it you're anxious about going into the big world when you're allowed to stay home? Cry me a fucking river. When I needed to go out in the big world to keep me out of that pit, where were you? Where were you saying, men, women, children, youth with mental health and depression problems, you need to be out, we need to not... We need to know your pain. Who felt mine? Who felt yesterday I saw there was a woman in Ottawa protesting why two of her sons have died of drug overdose. Where were you feeling her pain, their pain? Poor baby, you're anxious about reopening. Stay home. You have that choice. If we didn't have it two years ago, we've spent two years redefining society, so you have that choice. Staying home alone, trapped in the confines here, almost put me on the brown side of the grass. Literally a knife's edge away. Literally a knife's edge away. I care about your anxiety, but you can do something about it. When everyone, from the Prime Minister down, tells me I will be locked down in my house, and there's nothing I can do about it, what do I do? What do all the other people suffering PTSD, anxiety, depression, what do they do? What's their recourse? open up. And if you don't want to open up, don't open up. Here's a little tidbit for you, a little food for thought. Lockdowns are for prisons. 
Not for free people in a free society. Not for schools. Lockdowns are for prisons and prisoners. I've said it many times in these videos. We're freeborn Englishmen. We're not prisoners.